Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is going to be good for a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you are dealing with a Taurus, these messages may resonate with you as well. These are general readings, so keep in mind energies can be interchangeable, um, and they can be interchangeable throughout the reading, okay? So keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your message, it's not your message. And with that, let's go ahead and jump in. We are going to be dealing, we're going to be dealing, <laughs> We are going to be looking at you and the person that you are connecting with, the person that you are dealing with. I'll be pulling some overall energies um, and then dive in a little bit deeper for specifics, okay? So, Taurus, the decks that I use are listed below in the description, the description box. I don't know why I cannot talk today. Uh, so, check that out if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using and... Taurus. Let's see what's going on for my Tauruses. We're going to start with you. Look at your person and then mutual energies between the two of you. Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What do we got for my Tauruses? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus's energy, the person they are dealing with, and mutual. Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus. What's going on for my Tauruses? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's take a look. All right, current energy for my Taurus is uh, March 28th. For the week of March 28th, what do we got for Taurus? Current energy for Taurus. Okay, so you have trust the plan. First card out. Ooh, some of you are really stuck in your head. Um, you're really doing a lot of thinking about someone, over analyzing, stressing. There could be anxiety, worries, fears surrounding the connection. You may be having a hard time trusting your intuition during this time as well. Okay. Wow, your person is in an energy of like. They feel like they lost you, okay? They may be working, working. They may be in a situation where they're trying to find a rebound or move on from you. Taurus, what's the mutual energy? Could be a family involved, right? Some of you, for some of you, this may be someone that you have children with that won't be for everyone or you had like this family dynamic with, okay? But there's a mutual energy of like, Wow. Okay. There's a mutual energy of family. Okay. Someone here is really focused on their family. Also, both of you guys are in a space of like pretending to be happy. Like everything is fine. Like you guys are both moving on, but you're in the space of pretending. So that's just a on surface level. You're coming off as you're happy. Everything's fine. I'm moving on. Not worried about it. But deep down inside, uh, you are, and you guys are not you guys are not happy. You guys are miserable. Okay, let's see. Taurus, what's your energy? Some of you may be thinking like, damn, I should have told you how I really felt or there's something that I wanted to tell you that I didn't. There could be some gossiping, complaining going on when it comes to this connection to other people. All right, some of you withdrew from this situation. You're like, I just need some time alone to figure this out. Your person is really focused on work, trying to keep themselves busy. Yeah, this person is very guarded, okay? You're dealing with someone who's very guarded. They don't want you to get too close to them or they didn't allow you to get too close to them, Taurus. This person gave you a lot of mixed signals, mixed messages, okay? Um, the person that you are connecting with. Let's see, what else do we got here? I'm going to move this over. What else do we got here? Mutual energies for Taurus. Yeah, you may have questioned this person's motives, like, what did you even want from me? Like, this doesn't even make sense. What do you even want from me? Why did you waste my time? See, mutually, you both are overthinking it, showing up specifically on your side, but it is in your mutual energy. Both of you guys still feel each other's energy. Um, this person's feeling like maybe you're too good for them. They're a little bit insecure. Yeah, and then you have an energy of, I'm coming for you. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Someone's having some sort of realization. Yeah, I feel like 
those of you I'm connecting with, you are in separation with this person, maybe no contact. All right, this person loves you. Again, I'm getting like, they could have a situation, like a rebound situation going on, but it's nothing serious. Like they're trying to move on or get over you because they feel like you got away from them or you're the one that got away, um, but it's nothing serious. It's very specific, All right? This person's very guarded. There is love here. It's like, I love you, but I've been hurt in the past. You guys have a very strong sexual connection, strong sexual chemistry between the two of you. All right, sexual tension. Yeah, see, I love you, but I've been hurt in the past. So there's an energy of like, that's why this person's so guarded. That's why they have a hard time opening up to you, Taurus, is because they've been hurt in the past. All right, let's see. Tell me more for Taurus's person that they're connecting with. What can you tell me for Taurus's person that they are connecting with? What can you tell me for Taurus's person, please? Um, all right, so you have someone here who... <clears throat> They know they need to make some sort of decision when it comes to your connection. Maybe this person isn't available because they are dealing with another situation at, right now or before you guys separated. There's a lot of fears surrounding sacrificing something, maybe sacrificing a family, maybe sacrificing a long-term commitment for this relationship. This person has a lot of fears surrounding that, and that's why they were unable to make a decision in the past. Whatever this is, they had a lot of responsibilities outside of your connection, all right, and they're in a space of like, they're fearful to reach out to you because they feel like you're gonna reject them. Taurus, okay, let's see. What's on Taurus's side? Taurus, the moon rising Venus. Tell me how Taurus is showing up right now. The week of March 28th, 2022. Yeah, see, you guys are showing up as you're blocking this out. You're blocking this person out. You're no longer investing in a third party or outside influences. For some of you, it's a third party. For some of you, it's just simply outside influences or maybe work or ooh, other situations that um, made this person cold, detached, or distant, okay? So right now you're releasing them, okay? You're, you're focusing on yourself. You're releasing them for now. Yeah, you feel like this is a love-loss situation. Some of you do have children with this person, all right? Um, and it's like, you, the love is lost here in a connection, but you feel bound to this person by responsibilities, whether it's children, joint assets, financial reasons. Some of you are trying to put an exit plan into effect, okay? There's a lot of regrets here. I'm hearing time. Maybe regrets in the time that you wasted with this person or regrets in the effort that you put into the connection that where it wasn't reciprocated is what I'm getting. Your person's going through some sort of soul activation, all right, some sort of awakening, passing soulmate. So some soulmates don't last forever. However, they will teach they will teach you and leave you forever changed. Don't try to hold on to them once it's over. So this person feels like you guys definitely played a role in each other's lives. You played a role in this person's growth. Okay, but maybe we're better off as friends. That's coming up here. What's the mutual energy? The timing is off between the two of you. All right, the timing is off between the two of you here. Some of you are connecting with a twin flame connection. That won't be for everyone, but some of you are. And there's heavy third party energy here. All right, heavy third party and heavy like family type shit. Like someone is in like a committed relationship. All right, and there's a third party. So <clears throat> let's jump into the tarot here. Six of cups and page of swords. So some of you may have found something out about this person, maybe someone from their past, the lovers, uh, could be connecting with a Gemini for some of you, but some of you are really thinking a lot about the past and that's where this regret comes in or this could be your person, take it how it resonates. Maybe some of you found something out about this person. That was really disappointing to hear, all right, for some of you. And it resulted in you walking away is what I'm getting with that. Yeah, some of you have a choice to make, maybe between two people, or this could be your person, okay? Pisces, Cancer energy, you guys, there's a lot of fear surrounding the unknown here. The tower, yeah, something could have happened very unexpected. This could be, you could be connecting with a Scorpio. Uh, but I do feel like there's an energy here of something, maybe finding something out unexpectedly, or some sort of change that happened unexpectedly. Maybe some sort of truth that came out. Uh, 
ace of swords some some sort of breakthrough some sort of clarity that you receive which is helping you move on from this connection or causing you to be in the space of like really overthinking and having regrets about the past or feeling like damn this connection's gone like i need some time alone i need to withdraw i need to do some reflecting okay so let's see taurus tell me about taurus what's on their mind what are they thinking about right now taurus what are you guys thinking about Queen of Cups could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces on your mind, right? Um, but I feel like you guys are thinking about your emotions. You're thinking about following your intuition. You're thinking about the love, this relationship, yeah, and fears surrounding it. Also, you're thinking about maybe some sort of secret that came out, right? You're also, I'm getting like, for those of you who are leaving a third party situation, yeah, you're thinking about a deception, and how there are fears in stepping into the unknown. Here, it could be connected with a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries, on your mind, right? Um, how do you feel towards this person? Knight of Cups. I feel like you feel like this person owes you some sort of apology. How do you feel towards this person? Yeah, I feel like there is a strong attraction for this person, Six of Wands. There is a strong attraction uh, between the two of you, and it's in your feelings, that sexual chemistry here. But I feel like you feel like this person like gets attention other places, Six of Wands. Like, look at all those people reaching up to her. Like, some of you may feel like this person owes you an apology for being a player, all right, being in that energy. But there is love here, regardless. You do have emotions. How do you view this person? That was fast. Page of Swords. Very guarded. Some of you view this person as immature or there could be an age difference between the two of you. Okay. Uh, the lovers. You view this person as they need to make a choice. Like what's your decision? What's your choice here with the lovers? Some of you view this person as a snake as they were deceptive. Okay. It could be connecting with a Gemini for some of you. Also, energies can be interchangeable. You guys, please keep that in mind. So let's see what's on your person's mind. What are they thinking about? What's your person thinking about? Taurus, what's your person thinking about? Knight of Swords. This person wants to rush in. They want to communicate. They want to take action. <clears throat> what is this Knight of Swords? They're thinking about it. The Empress. They want to take action towards you. Some of you may find out that you're pregnant or there's a pregnancy here involved in the situation. This person's thinking about the fact that you left them out in the cold, okay? That you walked away from the connection. Five of Pentacles. How do they feel towards you? Five of Pentacles. Here's that friendship energy. Some of you are dealing with someone that, like, they just want to be friends. Or if nothing else, they at least want to hold on to, like, some sort of friendship between the two of you. How do they feel? Three of Swords in Reverse. That's an energy of coming out of some sort of third-party situation. So um, they may feel like you cut out the third party, like you removed yourself from a third-party situation. Okay, you pulled back. You pulled back your energy. Um, but they still want to remain friends. Hmm. Some of you could be connecting with the Leo. How do they view you? Like as if... See how she's blindfolded here? Like, you didn't see what was truly going on in the past. Like, maybe this person blinded you by manipulation or lies. And they they feel like that is no longer what's happening here. Like, you see things clearly for what they are right now. They view you as the Ace of Swords. You receive some sort of clarity. You have, you have gained some sort of truth or had a breakthrough surrounding the situation. And they view you in that way. What's the mutual energy here? Ten of Wands. This is a burden. Heavy weights on your shoulders. Like, this is taking a lot from you. Wow. And the challenge position is the King of Wands and the High Priestess. Someone here is holding back. Or somebody here had secrets. Pisces, um, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. And then you have the Three of Cups underneath that. So, somebody was hiding a third-party situation. Somebody got caught up here is what I'm getting. Okay, if it's not you, it's your person. What's the outcome between Taurus and this person? What's the outcome here? The Fool. Could be connecting with an Aries. Hmm, going towards something completely new. 
taking a risk on something. Why is the fool here in the outcome for Taurus and their person? The star, Aquarian energy. The worst is over between you and this person, Page of Wands. I feel like you guys are going towards something new here. Queen of Wands. Look, you have the King and Queen of Wands out now. A lot of you really are dealing with um, this Twin Flame connection, okay? King and Queen of Wands and the Twin Flame card. Like, this is a very strong connection that you have with this person. But I feel like it's a burden. Like, this is a heavy weight on your shoulders right now because of maybe the drama, maybe the conflict, maybe because this person was indecisive in the past some of you yeah you guys are deciding to like i'm gonna stay single for now and wait for a stable offer and it is coming through this new beginning you have something new so something that you've wished for yeah you're releasing this and whatever this is that you're you're waiting for and going towards look at this it leads to the ten of pentacles whatever this new situation is so you have a happily ever after here some of you could be connecting with the Libra. It comes in very quick, though. Um, yeah, a new beginning. Look at this. You have the Ace of Wands, Justice, good karma pain off for you, the Sun, whatever this is, it makes you really happy. So now, two things. Some of you may have this person from the past come forward and communicate with you and want a new beginning, all right? Now, if you know, like, hell no, I will never go back to that person, I'm not open to a new beginning, then you know that this is something coming through that's brand new for you. For others of you, if you're interested in having this reconciliation and having a new start, I see that coming through too. So it's going to be different for everyone. You all have your own situations going on. It, and like I said, it'll be different for everyone. But those are the two storylines that I see here. What does your person want to say to you? I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. What do they want to say to Taurus? We come from different worlds. You and this person probably have a lot of differences between the two of you, okay? That could be, uh, that could cause conflict here. I'm focused on my career over love right now. Some of you are dealing with someone who is very fo career focused. Doesn't have to necessarily be a third party. It could be someone that's very focused on on work. That could be the third party, right? That could be something that, that keeps you guys apart. Wow, this is a, a completely different deck, but it just came out with this. I hope that you can forgive me one day. So you definitely caught someone in a lie. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect? I keep up a facade to the world, but you always saw past that and into my soul. I feel your presence every day, Taurus. Yeah, you guys still feel each other's energy. I feel safe confiding in you. And I know it's hard, but please be patient with me. Don't mind my nails. I know they're fucked up right now. Maybe we're too different, and that's why we disagree and fight. Yeah, that's the energy that I was feeling. It's like you guys do have a lot of differences, and that could have been why this person was hesitant in the past. Not that that's your problem, but... That's what I see here coming up for you guys, for some of you, okay? So let's pull a card, Romance Angels, card of advice for Taurus, card of advice for Taurus. What do we got? Calling in your soulmate. Some of you are manifesting, either manifesting a reconciliation or manifesting uh, a, new, a new love interest or a soulmate connection, and that is coming through here really strong. So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So you guys are manifesting something. And whatever you're wishing for, whatever you're manifesting is showing up in your outcome here with the star. Okay, and the Ten of Pentacles. You're manifesting a relationship, a long-term relationship, and it is coming through, Taurus. <coughs> See, keep an open mind. Because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So there is someone here that is very different than your usual type and expectation or the, the norm of what you would date. And this is what you manifested. It may come in in a different form, but it is a soulmate connection. And it is something that the universe is giving to you. Okay. So that is what I have for you. I hope that was helpful. I hope that brought you guys some clarity to your situation. I love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.